Hi guys. Hi. Please join. <laughs> yes, we are all excited. And I'm so nervous. Because this is our first interview with our first guest. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your patience. I saw the notifications of you guys turning on the you know notification for when it starts live when we start the live so we're so thankful and we hope that we will be able to bring something good out of it and we will all learn together so uh we have two minutes to start our live with miss Arani from south korea so um I think I will just introduce you what this Vok Naga is and the objectives before we invite our sister Arani. So uh, we will not be focusing on the comments that are coming to us uh, from 9.30, that's one minute away. So uh, please forgive us and forgive me because I will not be concentrating on the um, comments that you guys will be passing to us. So... Uh, Vok Naga is a group uh, by a group of people and we have a very positive mindset toward this and we are thinking to bring something better. It's not that others are not doing good in their life or in our society for us and for our society but we believe that when we try to talk to one another among Naga, we will be able to learn something good and then we will be able to support each other. So uh, the objective of uh, Vok Naga is all about promoting our young Naga uh, youngsters and Naga people who are in different fields, which is not only um, singing or dancing or whatever it may be, but we are focusing mainly on the talents that our youth have and we all have. It's just that we are not able to um you know know what our talent is so this is a objective of Vok Naga to know those talents and then support each other also we are promoting Naga uh, young influencers and Naga influencers and um it's already 10 30 so uh before I asked our sister Areni to join our live for the interview I would like to introduce her to you guys. Uh, Arini is from South Korea, but she is originally from Woka and she stays in um, Naglen. But right now she's doing her studies in South Korea as I am. And I am your host and my name is Ayekali. And um, we will all be joining together, watching the live together and learning from her and if you're curious to know about um, our next person who we will be interviewing, you will see her soon, maybe next week, by the next, by the next host. And tonight I will be your host. So if you guys are ready, I will invite our sister Arani and then start with the interview. Just give me a sec. Yes. She's coming in. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hi, Arendi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So good to see you here. So good to see you. Okay. Is so, my voice okay? Is my yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Video okay? okay? It's fine. It's fine. What about mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you well. Okay, so uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you so much for availing your time. No, oh, thank you so much for this. It's such an honor, really. We are privileged, and it's our pleasure to host you tonight for, uh, to start our Vogue Naga interview with Naga influencers. And I am very happy to introduce you to our dear viewers. She is none other than Miss Arani. <laughs> also, you can. You can call her Miss Naga Korean. As, As if. Yes. <laughs> As you can see. No, yes. We will prove you wrong. 
when we start this conversation. <laughs> okay, so if you don't mind, would you please introduce yourself to our viewers and us, not in Nagamis, not in um, English, but then I would like to ask you to introduce you in Korean, just a short introduction, because many of us watching this interview want to hear some Korean, so uh, not not the interview part, but introduction part. Would you please introduce yourself? Okay. Um, 안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 아린이라고 합니다. 저는 지금 한국에서 공부하고 있는데 어, 여기 광운대학교 다니고 있습니다. 그리고 저는 인도 사람이고 나글렌에서 왔고 지금 서울에 살고 있습니다. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. So I believe that half of the Naga uh, youngsters or even Naga you know, all, uh, not all, but then majority of Nagas are very interested in gay world, Korean world. So I hope and believe that half of them have already understood. But just to make it sure, she is RNE. And then she uh, just introduced herself as she is studying in South Korea presently. And she is from Naglan, India, uh, from Woka village. Kohima is the day. Kohima? Kohima? I'm from but Kohima. But I'm Woka, right? Yeah, 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 my dad is from uh, Oka, but then we, I, I was born and brought up in Koima. Okay, so, Kun to Bira, so let's pass Changa Pani, we all up to Bira, okay? Bira, say. Bira, say. Yeah, thank you so much. So, uh, we have a 15 set of questions for you tonight, but uh, just to make it, uh, you know, uh, not very formal, but informal, formal. I would like to set apart like three sets of uh, questions, as in five serious questions and in between like masala wala questions. Masala so, wala. Yes. I'm so, so ready. If, yes. If you're masala. ready and our audience is ready, let's start with the questions. Yes. Are you ready? I am so ready. Okay. The first question is, how long have you been in Korea? And uh, can you please tell us your purpose and like... Of your stay here in South Korea. All right. So um, yeah, I think um, it's gonna be my fifth year in Korea next oh. week, next month. Okay. So in August, it's gonna be my fifth year, and um, so I've been here for five years, and my purpose here. So I study here. I came as a language student, but uh, mm -hmm. I learned uh, the Korean language for one year, and then I started university. So it's my final wow. year of college. So it's my fourth year of college. Yeah, so I'm here for studying. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Five years. Five years, exactly. That's a long, long year. So, uh, as you have said, your purpose of staying in South Korea is uh, basically for studying. And you have done your Korean language also. Mm -hmm. So that's le that leads to the second question, which is... Um, not many of us know, but some of us already know that you have a YouTube channel, oh, uh, which is a very, very, very uh, great opportunity for the viewers to see the life of South Korea. So um, she has a YouTube channel over 1.2K subscribers. Mm -hmm. So for those back home, can you please check it out, her YouTube channel, and then help her, support her. She's a very humble person. And I know her personally, so I can assure that she is very humble and kind. So the second question is, can you please tell us about your YouTube journey? Like, mm -hmm. did you start it in India or you thought of starting it in South Korea? And how was your journey and how is it going? Actually, well, like I have never talked about, I mean, I... I kind of talked about it somewhere, but then I've mm -hmm. never talked this like detailed. So I'm going to tell you in detail how it all yes, started, please. right? Yes. So um, I studied in Lancers International School in Gurgaon for like my high school. And so during my high school, I lived in the dorm. And so it was just me and my dorm friends. And my dorm friends, most of them, they were like um, from Thailand, from Korea. And so different places, right? America, okay. Indians as well. So uh, we just, decided to do this like random youtube video right oh. and so it was uh, if you guys like 
check my videos, my older videos. My first video, I think it was uh, in high school, and it was like oh. a blindfolded makeup challenge. And so it was like very funny. And so I um, started that that time, but it was not like you know for oh let's become a YouTube star or like you know mm -hmm. let's do yeah. this YouTube videos and stuff like that. So it was just very random and um, mm -hmm. with without any aim, we just uploaded that video. And so um, that was my first YouTube video. And when I was in Delhi after my high school, I was in Delhi for about like six months, just doing nothing. Um, just oh. experiencing life. So after my high school, I took a year break, right? So during that time, mm. I uh, I was traveling and also like just learning from everywhere, right? Like different um, different things. And so uh, while I was doing that, I did some skincare because I was very into like skincare that time. Mm -hmm. so I know. I did, I did like a haul video for the first time, and so yeah. that was very much uh, like it's still like you know it's very amateur and stuff like that. But um, I think after coming here in Korea, um, my friends, they were like, oh, you should show us places and you should start a vlog. Like, you know, just showing us places, what you're doing there in Korea and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, why not? And so um, I did that. And even my parents, like my family and like all these cousins and stuff, they wanted to see more of that, right? So I was like, oh, I should just like, you know, start this like as a like vlog thingy mm -hmm. and so i i just started doing vlogs but then i was not consistent and uh why i was not consistent is because like sometimes i tell you also know that my schedule is yeah. very, like random right it's not I just know. like oh mondays i do this mm -hmm. it's very random so yeah. um so that's why it was um uh, i was not consistent but then i feel like now that i think about it like i don't want that pressure from i see youtubers like a lot of youtubers and stuff like that and they have this pressure from society where like you know they have to be consistent and they have to post like things on this day this day this day and which is good like you get a lot mm. of followers but i think for me i didn't start to like you know gain a lot of followers a lot of like subscribers like that mm. but just um even on instagram right so it's mm -hmm. i want this thing to show or like you know to educate people mm. like in naglin back in naglin like letting them see about how my life in Korea is and how, what they can learn from or like you know introducing my friends like different cafes and different um different restaurants so that's like my aim of my YouTube it's not like you know to like be famous yes. or like have this name of myself for myself and anything <laughs> so um that's why I think yeah that's why I wanted my YouTube channel to be more I guess like introducing stuff or like you know more educational and like mm -hmm. more of like introducing places than like you know to gain subscribers or anything yeah, yeah. would you please uh, mention your youtube uh, name too so that our viewers can oh yeah you? it's yeah after it's the live link, link is on my bio but okay. uh, yeah it's i go by the name arini himsoe so it's just my name a r e n i h u m t s o e okay guys but, yeah. uh, Okay, someone mentioned. Thank you so much. You can check out her YouTube um, link from her uh, bio. So don't worry about that. You'll get back to her soon. Mm -hmm. So as you have shared your journey uh, about your YouTube, I'm like amazed by what you say just now that you started your YouTube during your high school uh, with a video for a makeup, like a blindfolded. Yeah, yeah. Which is impossible for me, even if I open my eyes wide. <laughs> so that's very inspiring. Also, oh. the thing you said about showing places, new places like cafe and uh, Korea to your friends back at home, family and to uh, Naga people are also Indian and it's like mm -hmm. worldwide. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing your YouTube journey. And we hope and believe that you will gain more subscribers a genuine youtuber with a genuine subscriber so we oh, wish you all the best <laughs> okay so uh without wasting any time the next question is as you are an international student in korea we wanted to know, uh, know and ask you about what are some of the difficulties that you have faced when you uh come to korea and 
if there is any that you're still facing, like, would you like to mention those and little details or like, however you're comfortable with? I think uh, it's different when it comes to uh, facing difficulties as an international student and facing difficulties as a foreigner here in Korea. It's different. Um, so I think whatever I talk today, actually, it's like, you know, my point of view, my perspective mm -hmm. and what I've experienced, right? And it might not be true for everyone. Um, but yeah, so I think for me in my school, I um, compared to other universities, I would say that I was really blessed. Um, and really, uh, my universities are doing a lot for uh, the international students, especially. And so... Um, difficulties that I faced. So at first when I came here, my sister was already here. So I did not no have kids. a lot of problems uh, as such. But then uh, when I joined university, it was all on my own. And like, you know, I had so because everything is in Korean, right? My professors would preach, uh, would preach, it seems, would talk in uh, <laughs> lecture in Korean. And um, I had to do my assignments in Korean and um, my exams in Korean. And so it was very uh, challenging, but thank God that I learned the Korean language for one year. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that bad. But then, so at first, um, I would be really scared, right? Oh my gosh, like my Korean, I can't even speak well. Like how can I pass all these exams? And look at me right, right now yes. I'm in my fourth year, right? Um, but the difficulties that I face, I think it would be language, uh, main thing, language. Apart from that, my uh, professors, they were really um, very um, generous towards like the international students, especially because most of my professors in my major, they studied abroad, especially in the U.S., and they know how difficult it is as an international student to study in a second language. But for me, it was my seventh language because dialect So... If I add all those, so it was very uh, kind of like challenging for me as well. But the professors, if you uh, if you're an international student and if you kind of like request your professors that um, that like you know you want to do your work in English or like you know a mix of Korean and English, I think they would most of the professors they would say okay, but there are some. Um, things that they want you to do extra because you're doing it in, in another language, mm -hmm. right? So, um, but thankfully, my media, uh, my major is media and mass communication. So most most of the things we're um, learning about, like computers and stuff. So it's mm -hmm. mostly English that they're studying. So it was not that bad. But I would say uh, difficulties would be uh, language. That's like one of the main. So I mm. think I would like tell people if they want to study here in Korea, then learning the language is very, very important. Yeah. Okay. So the difficulties uh, you face is mainly with the language, mm -hmm. but I believe now you don't have that much of like problem with the language as I know and our friends know that you can speak very well and I'm very <laughs> proud that you can speak very well and we can also learn from you so if anyone wants to know any korean language like a word or two you can ask her so that she can reply back when she is free <laughs> only when she is free so with that i wanted to ask you a one word question oh okay so you have been living in korea for like almost uh five years mm -hmm. and you're born and brought up from naglan but according to your experience and your thing here in korea so in one word, what would you choose, Korea or Naglen? Yeah. That is so hard. <laughs> yeah. I know. But look, okay, you you have to give me like a mm -hmm. kind of like a thing, like for example, food or like living wise or like what kind okay. of in what kind of sense? Just just in general. <sighs> in general, like. But can kanahan kuli do like it's different level. But ekta do like you na. Okay, so uh, living wise. Okay, living wise Korea. Okay, uh, food, food nagaland. <laughs> yeah, I know you like naga food, so she cooks naga food all the time, like most of the time. Yeah. Okay, 
So, um, with that one one word uh, question, the next question is: uh, We all know that you know South Korea, Koyle do. Ini month pag lunch na hoja na. Way back in Nagaland, when we were not here in South Korea. Ini Korea, Koyle do. Ini sok mano we expect yung isna. We we start to romanticize like. Korean people, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, we know that bishi manun Korea ke kushi pay like oppa and onis and whatever. Well, yeah, the the oppa and onis. I is the oppa and onis and also the adjusius now. Ah yeah, like forty yeah, plus. Yeah. I yeah, forty plus. We need to goblin la motado kiman year kushi pay do. But the time kushi pay na pay do. I cannot relate. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like among youth in Nagaland, so many are like into K drama and Korean life, and um, there is like a little uh, bad and good, you know, bad and good influence uh, with our Naga uh, brothers and sisters, or even us, including including us. So. Uh, What would you like to share to our dear Naga friends about romanticizing South Korea and South Korean people and their culture and their influence, like their cultural influence to us, so that they can know about like ah, itu itu tu a lot thick na inegi mohan kurado nele itu okay. I think we're going fine and we're going to do something good. We are influenced by them, like by their culture. So, what would you uh, tell our dear Naga brothers and sisters about the Korean culture influence in ours? Mm. So, when you watch them, bra, like I always mm. loved K-pop. I always loved K dramas. That why that's why it was my dream to come to Korea. Nah, mm-hmm. so like when when I was. Back then, like I would be like, oh my gosh, like Korea the man sapa, or like oh, oh. Korea the man, like Motandi man sundur, so man the man sundur, and plus like you know I would say like, I have the skin be man flawless, flawless now, oh, but oh. guys, guys, hey, wake up, <laughs> they're all <laughs> acting, they're so man they're acting as them. Boy. And plus skin also, of course, cause the handi like makeup over cholaina, mm. or plus. Tan, why do they put makeup on? Because it's tan. They have to portray themselves like that. Like they have to be perfect, na tan. Because so many acting as na so tan. Aru, if you see, then like makeup artist after after every shot, like makeup artist, they'll be like right in front of them, and then they would like touch up Korea. Aru, after like shot scene, na lak lolo, na they will come back. Okay. So. Even those like flawless skin and all, it's not. I mean, of course, some of them they have really good skin. I I won't deny that. But then, tahan ito over kwa hado, like over flawless hado. Like you know, they have like all these makeup artists like standing right in front of them, and they're shooting all these like music videos, and they're shooting all these um um K dramas and stuff like that. So you know, don't think that I think. That's why you know you guys say oh yeah like I a Korean la makeup kini mo mo like that yeah I mean you you can use that I mean cosmetics hando I think like Korean cosmetics are the best mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then um you guys we think that like tanla skin so flawless I say but it's not true but and also like tan about like their love life I think from my experience and what I know my friends I have Korean friends who are dating as well right. It's not perfect, like you know. They we think that oh, because I call it you, Janina. Like man, yeah. Everywhere you'll see couples, everywhere. Hands down, hands hands down. <laughs> That's why first at first when I came to Korea, like I felt kind of you know you feel kind of like oh my gosh something's wrong yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah the yeah, thing yeah, about yeah, the exactly. thing about Korea is. Like over pressure, not from the society or like even from your friends. Like you know, why aren't you dating? Like you know, it's as yeah. if something is wrong with you. They'll be like, yeah. "Oh, what happened to you? Like you know, you're not, you don't have a boyfriend or like you don't have a girlfriend. Like is something right. wrong with you? Like right, I mean, right. that's in their mind, right? And so, like I think even love life with Shigeluwi. Yeah, I'm not saying that all Koreans are like that, but I know that like a lot of people date only for the sake of having a girlfriend and or a boyfriend. 
and it's not because they really like that person or they really love they don't think about like second thoughts na tagi na ine idu my my kaya paishin nili idu mo tagi pa dikshe lok paishin gule they'll just start dating them like not because they actually love them in yase I mean of course it's not true for every like that but then Uh, I know we are fans and being at age now, so I mm-hmm. kind of know, and it's kind of like that culture that, like you know, dating is such a thing for them. Mm-hmm. Having a girlfriend, having a boyfriend. So yeah, I mean, and yeah. So you mean to say that don't romanticize South Korean men and yeah. like women I mean, so oh, much I... that yeah, you 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 cannot. So that that you cannot draw the line between real life and real life, yeah. Oh, that's what, not, yeah. yeah that's what, yeah. Yeah, I also wanted to add on to that. Like, not everything yeah. you see on uh, their social media or like you know their um, movies or their uh, music videos. Not everything is true because, like, I know some. Um, I've also met some like K-pop, uh, K-pop ex K-pop uh, idols and stuff like that personally, and like. I know how hard it is. They are under agent. Their agency because Korean hando na mando naglinda do artist han tagi shugle actor han tagi shugle man agency labitor na tagi na you can do. It's like mm-hmm. a very a uh, free thingy. Like celebrities are more free than Korean celebrities because Korean ce- celebrities tahan do privacy do. It's very important for them. So tahan agency la under tagi shugle. Even their Instagram, even everything is almost everything is run by their agency do. So yeah. they dress and chola and be they cannot wear whatever they want. Like you know, they they'll be stylists. You know who? So people think that oh, and also I you know there are these these things like naga naga manu labitor diwi. There I see a lot of like hatred like among uh, the nagas who hates uh, K-pop or like who hates Korean guys and stuff just because they use makeup. And sometimes yes, you know there are guys who wear makeup, but then. Sometimes it's because they have to have their image. Na tahan, nya they have to have that image of like looking perfect. And so mm-hmm. the agencies, I know that uh, I know there were some K-pop stars that they kind of regretted uh, joining some agencies because, like you know, um, they had to get their jawline done or like you know something's wrong with their nose, so they have to yeah. do nose surgery because okay. of the agency. So. And then uh, I think Irene Kim, she's a model. I've also met her, by the way. She's really cute. Um, but anyway, we'll talk that about. Uh, we'll talk. Yes, about later. later. But then, yeah, yeah, she she was talking about in one of the shows. She was talking about how she left one agency because um, they made her do like her eyelid or something surgery. So she was like, oh. she left that agency. So it's like that. But some people for the fame, they want to be famous, right? So. They cannot leave the agency, so they have to do all these things because they're all paid by the agency. So um, don't think that you know they're doing this because of themselves. Like you know, they wanted to do it. Sometimes it's because of the agency, because of the culture, Korean culture. Like in society, they have to look perfect, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, that's why they do this. So I I would say that don't judge people just or like you know celebrities just because you True. see a picture of them or like you know. A video of them, but yeah. Okay, well said, and mm-hmm. we're all like, you know, not shocked, but then uh, surprised to know that they use makeup. For for some of the nagas, we are like, oh, tan makeup to lazy, I am making china, but we never know the story behind, right? Yeah. So thank mm-hmm. you so much for the clarification. You're eating alone. <laughs> Just on the <laughs> for the skin, eh? Eh? <laughs> So, oh, thank you so much for sharing about that. So, leading to that, uh, I wanted to ask you about the Korean celebrities. Uh, if you have met them personally or like through your friends, I know you have, but I want I want you to share. So, uh, if you have met them, if yes, I'm sure uh, some of the loyal fans here, uh, like in Naglin or. With us right now, would want to hear about that. So, mm-hmm. can you please take your time and share about the Korean celebrities that you have met? Oh my gosh! Yeah, so I I have met a lot of uh, ex K-pop stars as well as uh, K-pop stars, and also um, um, stars who, I mean, that's like personal meetup, nah. 
Nuli, uh, concerts also, through concerts also, I've seen a lot of uh, K-pop stars and like through events, like for mm-hmm. example, our school, I mean, not just my school, but in universities yes. in Korea, we have the university festival. So every, um, every year, this last year and this year, we didn't have these festivals because like of Corona, but uh yeah we do have festivals every year so that's when you know we get to see celebrities in our own university which is like super close because in concerts yeah. you know there's so many um people and like you know the security is so tight so we can't even like you know see them close without a ticket like in front which is very expensive mm-hmm. um so i think uh it's on my one of my first vlogs it's uh icon I met them, mm. I, mean, I saw them so close and like Bobby, you know Bobby? He's yeah. the actor of Icon. He was just <laughs> right in front of me and then I was like, oh my gosh, Bobby, I like, because he likes, I mean, he speaks English, right? So I mm. knew that he would understand me and he, he was like, he gave me that smile and that wave, like just like oh. this, like, was so close. <laughs> Bobby, that's number one. And yeah, I, I don't know if you know, he's not very famous, but uh, he is a model for Zara slash, um, He's a rapper. His name is Chun Jun. And okay. so I met him personally. It was through a live video. He was going live like this. And like, you know, uh, I just, I didn't even expect that he would uh, accept my request, right? I just, I was out in Hongdae, like with my friends. We were having dinner. And then I just like, oh, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a like big fan of him. And I just like, you know, my friend was like, oh, just request. And so I requested. And so we talked. Oh, and so yeah, on life, uh, and so For real, yeah, and so after that, he was like, "Oh, I stay nearby, and you know, I'm gonna have." He was like, "Where are you right now?" It seems like you know it's very crowded, and I was like, "Oh, I'm in Hongdae." And he was, like, "I'm having a show next week, so you should come." And so when I went, he was mm-hmm. there, and he re- remembered my name, and I, it was so. Yeah, I still have a video. So kind, it. yeah. It's on my Instagram, the video, but yeah. That one and Irene Kim, I've met her. Um, she's such an amazing. Uh, she's a model influencer and she's also um, ambassadors for different brands like Chanel and uh, Estee Lauder. But yeah, Irene Kim, I, Irene Kim, she's very nice. And mm-hmm. um, I won't, I won't say where, but there's there was this place that I sang. And then, uh, do you know Eric Nam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, like the apparently tan bit hangi shi gushi. So my la friend was like, and so I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe I just like you know in yao tela I did a gana friado. So Taiwi Tagi Shi and then um yeah, in Yarna there are actually a lot. Um Nyarna, I think those were like one of the closest uh, encounters, mm-hmm. and yeah. My God, Imane. <laughs> that's Imani, Imani. But then you're one of like a lucky girl. Oh, can I? Can I add something? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And sure. also, there's this um, one of my friend. He's a singer. Okay. Yeah, he's just an upcoming singer, but he's gonna go live with me next week. He just oh, accepted really? it today. So this is the first time I'm announcing it live. So Okay, you guys, thank you so much. Yeah, Vogue Naga. Yeah, we should, we, everybody should like wait for it and then watch their live. Because if he has accepted your request to go live with you, then finish. Like, luck <laughs> <laughs> girishe <laughs> so yeah you guys uh, maybe probably uh wednesday will come live but i'm not sure which day but i will announce it soon i'll okay. talk okay if yeah. if if you can please announce the time in your you know story or post it somewhere so that our <laughs> friends can also see and then join your life wow there's so many i know there's so many but you're just mentioning some of the closest <laughs> encounter mm-hmm. but imani kurui <laughs> like as of me and our friends, many of us are jealous right now. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> In a good way. That they cannot wait to come to South Korea and do those things. But I, w- I wanted to let you clarify something to our viewers. Mm-hmm. Um, some people have been asking me or an- uh, other persons, even you, like who are in South Korea, 
they think that Korea is uh, very easy to live, like to live, like to survive. Mm -hmm. So if you can please clarify that, that for all of us in Korea, mm -hmm. we cannot like keep on explaining to them that it's not easy. Some people might think that, oh, I would, I would do one night. Like, in that video, for you now. So would you please clarify that, you know, that um, rumor that it's very easy to survive in South Korea? Mm. Well, uh, luckily at first, my parents, of course, like Tanbi Mandu, they were like, you know, having, oh, but is it worth it and stuff like that. So, but then I told them, like, you know, um, that studying the language first is very important to study in Korea because mm -hmm. I was uh, planning to go like to another country after my high school, but then. Like, you know, I think South Korea already, my sister was already here. And um, plus, um, I really was interested in Korean culture, right? So, I, like, my dad, he was also, thankfully, I'm so blessed, you know, my parents. Yeah. And so he was like, okay, ne, like, you know, iman but then let's just try. And so I think for one semester, uh, for language school itself, one semester, don't, Oh, university mm -hmm. And so okay. it's not just that, right? It's the housing here. The housing here, though, like almost um, with deposit and everything. How how much do you think we pay like for deposit? Like, well, deposit is like if if you are living in it's a like, studio. If you are living in a studio that's like different case, one room and a mm -hmm. kitchen. Uh, it will come to maybe below five million, but if you're living in a villa and apartment, it's ten million above. So six to seven lakhs. Yeah. Six, six to, to seven lakhs for deposit. So deposit is yeah. just like you know one time pay. That's uh, that you'll get it later, but then just that while you're staying there, right? Deposit and then like for rent and everything. I think uh, for me personally, around like. Uh, like one thousand dollar, or one lakh I think. including mm. yeah, including um gas, including yes. electricity, and your maintenance fee, including internet, yeah, internet, mm. phone, and um maintenance, everything. So I think Korea that has especially sold that you let that it's not easy there, unless like people are paying for you, which is really hard to get. Like some people get full scholarship, that's like um. It happens too. It's not that like, you know, but we do scholarship full do panic by Rina. So I cannot mm. uh, talk about scholarship. But then my university, if you guys want to come study in my university after your language and everything, which I really recommend. Language na puri na na Korea da hu le dolop diktara se. Like you have mm. so much trouble. Even if your school is in um, English, if your lectures are in English, if you don't know the language, then like, you know, in Korea, it's very hard to learn. Yeah. Yeah, it's not impossible, but it's very hard. You will really struggle. Yeah, that's and true. And so, um, but of course, I think um, for schools and everything, I think uh, my university, if you mm -hmm. have a topic exam, so uh, to have a, to be in a Korean university, you need topic exam now for undergraduate there. Because we do undergrad test, right, Jerry? So undergraduate, they do for four years, and for four years, First semester, four years, two, two semesters for one year. So one year, first year, first semester, my topic exam, my Korean exam. Uh, I was level four. So if you have a level four, uh, like, in uh, school, 50% the scholarship, Mala University, Kwangun University, the day. Mm. So, 50% scholarship duo Udupishide, it'll be according to your grades. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the if you score a good grade in your last semester, then you'll get more scholarship this semester. So it's like that. But yeah, to live here it's not easy. That's why maybe like sometimes I do part time if I have mm -hmm. opportunities. And so uh, yeah, it's not easy to live here. It's not um cheap through. Especially yeah. in Seoul. It's not cheap. Yes. People think that like we we when we were back in Netherlands, we also think that aya Korea jaina movie tinch na eh kasi di kam kuna aya chukrek ta sundar ayo eh we were also like na hoy day na hoy day 
Ke fe të dorë ki ba gjithës të një fajti ka në kërë në përës, ala. True. It's true, right? Ja, një dojnë So, uh, thank you so much for sharing about the scholarship thing and, you know, giving us the knowledge about how to go about if we are uh, planning to come to Korea to study. So, as said, guys, please remember that Korean language is very, very, very important for mm-hmm. you to come to Korea and study. So, with that, are you planning to, like, uh, pursue your career here in Korea or go back to Nagaland, in, in India? Many of the guys are waiting for that question, so, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I think um, honestly for me when people ask me this it all depends on God because whenever I came here to before I came to Korea even like five months before I came to Korea mm-hmm. I never knew that like you know I um, I would come here to study it was always my dream to study here but it was never so but then like you know just she was like, why don't you just like start applying for language school here? And then next week oh. I applied. And yeah, I said, man, like, oh, 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 yeah. right? Suddenly. So it was all very like sudden. So everything, like I tried for like about like three months applying abroad to other universities, other countries, but nothing worked out. And so you know when it's God's plan, because like mm, it just now that happens. I look back, oh, oh. The, the like it, the amount of growth I've um, experienced, and also like you know when I look back, I see wow, like udo time the sob dorjan bon hina tayi siya like but when Korea applied recently, like and then everything happened in a snap, like even my visa. It hardly happens in India. They man time loy na weeks and weeks. Moila do like next day they called me. They were like, oh, except Pushe. Okay. Everything happens so fast and so easy. So it's like if it's happened to be, uh, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but then the question. So to answer to your question, mm-hmm. uh, it's all on God's hands. But then for me, my heart, what I want to do is I want to work here for some time. Will you create a Pushe? So all of. Like, yeah, they come working culture, mm. have experience crew. I want to know more true. about their culture, everything. And so, but then um, I also want to go back to Naglan, India, do something. And then um, maybe, I don't know, come back or just stay there forever. But yeah, I don't have any plans yet. But I would love to work here for some time at least, for some years. Yeah. So, like, as you have shared that you're planning to stay there for some years in Korea... And then, if it's God's will, and if like the door opens again to go back to India and help your people, I'm sure you'll never say no to that. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, we have heard, and I am the witness that you're also a worship leader in a church in Seoul, Korea. So, mm-hmm. would you like to uh, share something about your church community uh, here in South Korea to our people? Uh, what's like? There might be some differences in worshiping also, right? So if you can please share about that. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think for me, um, worship leading, I never imagined myself worship leading. Um, back when it started, I think in Delhi, there was this aunt who uh, is now, she their family is in the US now and they're doing ministry there. But then, when I was in Delhi, uh, I was having the break here. Now, udu time the like the husband, my aunt's husband, tai kiva uh, sude tai pastor So mm-hmm. he was like, you know, and then why don't you like try leading worship with us? That time we man's home kinda na like man, niya gonna man nervous kinda gonna kuri dey she back back down oh. singer types. But then he was yeah. like, you know, just ek bar lead kuri sayi. So I was like, okay, and you're not, that time it would be just singing. I wouldn't like, you know, lead worship as in like, oh, let's pray together or like, you know, reading mm. room. And I did not know anything about worship leading, right? But then any Kurishe. But then when I came here for the first time, uh, so my testimony is that like, you know, when I was back in India, Oceans was the song that really um, touched yeah. my heart. And so, but then... Uh, so when I first came to Korea and I wanted to try out different churches because I know that there are a lot of cults as well um, in Korea, right? 
so too, I yeah. was warned I was warned and then they were like oh okay so I in my mind I was thinking oh okay so, so the landlady actually she's Christian right she was like oh we also have a an English ministry so you should come like you know Korean church to first attend Kuna Udubish Day English yeah. ministry that time I did not know any Korean because it was my first day in Korea right so in Yaona I found my church community like that and so mm-hmm. when the moment I went in like in it you feel the holy spirit like just in the room right like when it's there it's there yes. like you cannot deny yeah and then I was the the message that my pastor right now spoke um by the way shout out to pastor Leo Ri <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah when he, um he when he spoke it just really god spoke through him and then it just really I was like And then the community like I loved how after church we went to lunch together as small groups and we talked about faith we talked about life and you know my mom was also there so but when I first came it's just the community you know like about church yes god has to be there but um second to god is like you know the community that yeah, really the environment you, encourages you it's church is not just like because I think uh, this is uh, one thing I really um, liked about our church is that like when do over mega church like you know sometimes pastor hangi will not have personal relationship there's not someone who disciples you or like you yes. know yeah you don't get that spiritual covering a lot na? yeah but then in Korea like here especially we, I really love my pastor there like Man, Kiki, one question because one do babe like oh, need your Bible for really who share. Only the mm. pastors has to know all these like spiritual answers or like all these answers. Yeah. And only the pastor can like you know tell people about Jesus. Like it's not like that. Like you know, as the followers of Christ, like you have the um uh, responsible to tell people about God. And so, anyway, what I like about uh this community is that like just how. When I'm discouraged, when I am struggling, like I can tell someone in church, like you know my tr- uh, my struggles without any um, without any thoughts of like being judged, mm-hmm. and even my pastor, right? And so, just having that spiritual covering, um, and also like you know that I'm that we have this community where like you know I can go to, or yeah, so. That's my, so my, my yeah, church. thank you so much for sharing about your church. Also, I believe that it has uh, made you grow your faith more deeper in God, and also not like we we know that when we start to study um, outside our place, like Nagaland or India abroad somewhere, we tend to uh, get influenced by other people, right? By their mm-hmm. culture, and we we tend to like allop hili jaina kunba. But then I believe that it's not like that in your case, and I'm very happy and to know that it has made your faith more or more grow more stronger. So it's just a golden of dry or shit, right? Like short question, it's just that. Tiga, tiga, hello, mother. Pani, pani, hello, do. Peach, 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 peach juice. Oh, golden, golden dry, or shit, do. Mother, che, che, la collagen, has collagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like that. Also, collagen mm-hmm. is very good for your skin, like anti-aging. <laughs> so, uh, the next question is from a, a follower of the uh, art page. Uh, mm-hmm. The question is by Atong Lo Kim. She has mm-hmm. asked you some uh, one question. Did you have a trouble adapting to the Korean food? And what, what? What is your favorite uh, Korean uh, food and why? Whenever you're ready. Go la lop sukai na tagado try gura na tagado. Okay. Okay. Moi da na. Kim is a Korean jamans. I say na I always loved when I first came. Uh-huh. I a sob try gura mon ta ishe. Oi, I I was like, "Oh my gosh, it will come on. It will come on." So I I did not honestly want the naga man was na so kai da na. So I didn't have any trouble. Kimi sa ko na mga madal sa ako trouble kita kaya sa ako. Eh ako trouble kita kaya na just ko le kanado. Oh oh. So you like the Korean foods, right? Hmm. 
So but then now, like, oh. sorry, sorry. But then now, yeah, yeah, when okay. I think about it, like, uh, mm-hmm. tahan na spicy do na all up over chini wa sa soft te chini dalyan. That's what like. Pura ko di sa chini, mongsa ro chini. Kusa sa ro tapo kiti sabi do red hoy na. Ito sopi mix hoy na tanki hoy sa nasa last dito. Hoy tapo kiti do na. Sao lehi sundo hoy na. Hoy. India de de man inya bhal saole bhal na red hina oh. but then over chini dalya tan <laughs> over chini ho jaise usabi that's true hoy ako ne khaita ka bhal paste na khaita ka bhal na is the akoni for me is the akoni and paste na for you <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's plan out to meet next week or the the, the next next week mm mala briyani bhi batina suna hoy 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 Hoy. 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 Working without rest. Oh, working without rest. Are you mm. sure? That's my superpower. I would say. I mean, that's not my superpower, but it's God's strength. Honestly, mm. like you know, the things that I do. Kimi sapo. Sometimes I I think that oh yeah, like movie. No, not like you know. And Oy. for me, I get eight hours. I make sure to it, and then I do. I make sure eight hours to mo oil lagi. I know. Kiman kaman mai kalewi ini 8 hours gumai to I know that man kiki kam so that's why I go full on like come grad in the full on kiman tired to do we so yeah I mean I think working without rest that's great but, but that's the thing like if I had an important job to do I would like you know sleep lesser mm. but then people think I am komti komti humai le guys I think I would it's like kind of like an advice from me Mm-hmm. Like you know, you we think that oh, come to come quickly, you know, you'll get more paid or like you know, people say in business they say oh, there's no time for sleep. You gotta work like you know to mm-hmm. get money and stuff like that. Yes, maybe that's true, but you know you cannot get money if you're tired. Like your brain doesn't work if you're tired. So yes. you have to have your rest. Uh, I think yes, money and all these things are important. Studies are important, but like if you don't have If you're not healthy, then that does not mean a thing. Like poisa, poisa doesn't mean anything if you're not healthy. So rest. True, true. Important. That's true. That's true. Even God, He rested so, on the seventh day. So yes. So we also should have rest. Hold on. One second. We should handle our chairs. Bon kore de. Kore de. You know, now I cannot like stay under the AC for a long time. Oh yeah. And it's yeah, been yeah. on for like more than forty minutes. So. Oh, Last okay. interview, khatam hoye na mo kasi kura start hoye le no la. No. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Um, ki tu ikip ay kibis share ko mo just na. Hey, dito lo onra ni advice pa kay Dina Egberto. Aya, kiko kiko. Okay, let's read the comments. Eh, ne ko. I think um. If we start reading the comments, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there will be so many questions and it will mess up. I have questions. I just gave you the opportunity to share something. If, uh, for me, um, advice. I think for me it would be like moy kwanishna. Don't forget to rest. Now, one. I think right now, um, like there are a lot of people struggling with lack of sleep and all mm-hmm. these things, and they they think that. But then they say, "Oh, I cannot sleep. I have insomnia." Kuna, hold the humawa. Aru rati do do. Rati do na humawa. Of course, yeah. you cannot sleep because you're sleeping all you day, sleep. like you know, wasting your day, lazing around, and then, like you know, rati do do. You're saying, "Oh, I have insomnia." That's not insomnia, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, I would say that rati do do. That's imbalance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then so I I also actually maybe I have to learn like you know to sleep earlier. I don't sleep are early. But then, kiman ha kiko? Are you single? Oh my gosh, kapta gi? Oh, kapta gi. 
Girl, I am so single. Oh, so single, ready to mingle, or in love with Say, Jesus? Uh, um, single, yeah, but then I mean, taking your time, as in, hey, love marriage or arranged marriage? You're single, so. Wow, I would, I would love love marriage, but then if, um, you know, there's, I trust my mom so much in guys, so mm-hmm. if you know. If my um, <laughs> you got it. My comment. Rookie yes. comment. Yes. My just mom. No, no, like, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's so, one. That's anyway. One. Mm-hmm. Um, but if um, my mom, she has like someone like you know that she wants me to get married to, or like you know if there's a proposal and like my, mm. why am I saying this? Oh my gosh. Just, just share it. Who yeah. Propose me then, obviously. But yeah, love. I think love marriage. That's true. Like so, any current uh, celebrity crush or crush, like as in, not celebrity. I'm just saying the celebrity. But then, any any um, crush as of now. Just yes or no. It's just yes or no. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I want to love my uh, Alcantara. we have to talk okay so uh what's the one habit of yours that it's annoying like and no my habit family of yours. always tells me this i don't know if they watch mm. enough of them yeah they might be i don't know why i don't know i, don't know. I, I don't know i just you're obsessed with don't know maybe i'm obsessed i'm obsessed right? yeah i you're hate obsessed. it so much but yeah you're like when when i came to your house you're like i am with your chili carne na kiki oli kuro taista like those Speaking of which, I'm and... gonna color my hair tonight after this live video. What 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 color you're going to color? Check out my story. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we are coming. We're coming close to the end. We're oh, that's so sad. Time. Yeah, like it's already one hour. Like time went like this. So, so fast. Oh yes, we have like we will be having hundreds of questions in our mind. But those were the things that that was very important to let uh, to for us and to let us know. Mm-hmm. So um, last one, I only ini usor dia hece gua. Last one, then jual second last third fourth kan tak? Ia itu an oh hece gua sih. Last one, I okay. Hey, are you going to cry? So when you last day, hey. So. Uh, in one word, um, not in one word, you can explain this uh, question. What was or what is the... Oh, I think the live will end Soon. in two minutes. Soon. Okay. Because, it, because of the time, right? What is the most embar- embarrassing moment you have had in Korea? Fast, fast, fast. Bali, bali. Embarrassing? Ah. I have my no. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> guys, at the end of uh, we don't know when it's going to end, like one and thirty seconds now. So our next, our next um, what? Kiese, our next guest will be uh, Miss Aseno, our Kumlika. So please tune in and uh, uh, next Friday, uh, same time. So oh my God, the time is running out. Like we have one minute. Arini, please one one word message for our viewers, please. <laughs> guys, in whatever you do, trust in the Lord. And like yes. really, um, we do my all my stories are whatever I do, whatever I did, uh-huh. what, whatever I've achieved. I would say that it was God. Like really, I did nothing yes. on my own. And Thank um, you. Mm-hmm. really, that's so that's very important. And like yeah, you know, they're like society telling you do this, do that. But I think I would say my advice is like do what you are best at and keep like you know. Keep pursuing. Keep doing things okay. that's like related to what you like. Yeah. Okay. Thirty seconds. Thank you so much, Arini, for joining our live t- tonight. We're very happy. And then, kamsamita kumawo sinjo. Mian, because of the time. Kensama. Okay. We're going to save the uh this one. You can check out the YouTube link uh in the 
uh, bio of Vok Naga. So please go and follow my friend Arini. Thank you so much, guys. Woo! Arini, thank you. Woo! See you. Annyeong.